CTV News with Michael O'Byrne and Leanne Cusack. And Leanne and fitness expert Tony Greco are standing by. Hey guys, uh, you've got some tips to say uh, to stay on the fitness bandwagon. But first, predictions about tomorrow night's gold medal game. What do you think? Well, Tony works with a lot of hockey players, so I'll he turn the, the hockey prediction over to Tony. Yeah, I think 4-2 Canada win, absolutely. 4-2 Canada more. win. Couldn't dig dig, agree dig into those spandex <laughs> shorts. And I think Tony's ready to put money on that as well. And, and it's true, Michael. We are here talking about fitness, and actually it's always great because I asked Tony to assemble success stories he has found. And if this is the year you promised you're going to be your best you, we may, um, we may have motivation in Kelly Lee in Kelly McDonald and in Luke Rochefort because you all have very different stories uh, and Luke's is a unique one in that yours was to bulk up and to actually gain some weight. What was, what was going on in your life? I was, uh, I was diagnosed with cancer, testicular cancer in June and I uh, went through four rounds of chemo so I lost quite a bit of weight. I was down to uh, 125 pounds and uh, I'm up now to 155 in two and a half months. And uh, I got 8.3% body fat, where I started at 16 when I went in for my first uh, consultation. You know, people at home listening, because uh, it's hard to be motivated to exercise a lot of the time. But when you've gone through, uh, you know, that sort of treatment, to find the energy to be so good to yourself, where did, where did you pull that from? I think just uh, wanting to get better, wanting to make myself uh, kind of back to where I was. And... Um, Motivated through uh, my trainer, Matthew, uh, who's, who's been a huge part of my life the past three months. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just wanted to get back fit and get back playing hockey and feeling like a person again. And the cancer's under control? Uh, I still got a little road ahead of me, but uh, it's, it's on the upswing. Things look good. Well, you're in amazing shape. We want to thank you for sharing that story. And a different story for Kelly McDonald. But now when you carry your two kids around, Kelly, you think about the weight you were carrying around. That's right. So, I mean, it was sort of a, a choice that I made. I struggled with weight for quite a long period of time. Uh, when I joined Greco in May, I was almost 250 pounds. Since then, I've lost 50 pounds. And I did it for a lot of different reasons, uh, partially for myself, just to get healthier, get more active. I've got a four-year-old daughter and a three-year-old son. So you want to be able to not only set a good role model for them, you know, it, you know statistics show that children with overweight parents are more likely to be overweight themselves. So we didn't want them to struggle with, with that through their lives. So my wife and I joined Greco. She's lost 30 pounds. As I said, I've lost 50 pounds. And just getting in shape and being more active, I ran a, a 10K in October. I plan to run a, a half marathon this year, maybe a full marathon in the fall. I mean, this is the first year I didn't have to make a, a New Year's resolution saying, I want to lose weight. It's more, you know, I want to run a half marathon. I want to run a full marathon, which a year ago I, I never would have thought. You're 36 years old. Yeah. Have you ever been in the shape you're in now? I think I'm probably in the best shape I've been in my entire life. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, well, okay. Luke's story, gaining weight and bulking up and taking care of his health, health after cancer, you being a fabulous role model for your children. And, and Kelly, your story is very different because you decided to turn dis destructive self-behavior into very positive behaviors. What was going on uh, in your life? I was at a point in my life where I was unhappy. And when you're unhappy with yourself, you tend to abuse. Um, I'm proud to say I'm a recovering, I'm still in recovery, uh, alcoholic and drug addict. Um, it's been quite a struggle, but getting to Tony Greco Lean and Fit, getting educated, learning about the benefits, uh, and also learning a lot about myself and what I'm capable about, capable of doing rather, uh, it, it's really helped me find, find my inner peace and uh, live a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Now, I have to, I'm so glad I didn't expect you actually to, to share all of that and <laughs> the fact that you did because there I are... got nothing to hide. I got nothing to hide <laughs> at this point. So. No, but at first you weren't sure whether or not you wanted to be as personal. But I know and that there's a lot of people out there and a lot of young girls my age. I'm only 24 years old. It's very hard to distinguish if you are struggling with, with an addiction or not. Um, if you feel like you're hurting yourself, get some help because, uh, and you can find it right in the gym. Everybody here that will work with you, they're very compassionate, understanding, and it's all about finding your own you know, inner power. That you, yeah, this is a photo of me a couple years back. And you can see that in my face here, uh, you can actually see that I'm very quite swollen. Like it really showed on the outside how unhealthy I really was. And that unhealthiness ultimately made me feel 
really, really depressed with myself and who I was becoming. So, you know, step your foot into the gym. It'll make a big difference. And even if you hook up with a personal trainer, um, they guide you more than you know in, 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 in terms of your physical what you're capable physically, but they'll help you mentally as well. We have to thank you. I have to say, Tony, whoa, what candidates, what poster children for, for being your healthiest in, in 2011. We're going to come back, and Tony is going to take your calls and your questions. And I just have to thank all of you for sharing your very personal stories with our viewers, because so many of you who are out there and maybe ready to get on the phone lines can identify with what is going on here, and you can bring it into your own world. We'll be back, 613-750-1211 or 1-888-750-1211. Tony and I are feeling really inspired. We hope you are. And uh, the phone lines are full. We're going to be taking your calls. But Luke Rochefort, who just left, when he came to the gym first, he didn't have any hair. He had lost all of his hair to his treatments. And he's still only operating at a 40% lung capacity with his cancer in his stomach. They're dealing with either scar tissue in his stomach and his lungs. And he's still finding the strength to work out. Yeah, it's unbelievable. And I mean, you know, he looks at himself right now. He sees that glow in his face mm -hmm. and the progression. So. I mean, he's just going to come back twice as strong. And uh, as I said, the other Kelly didn't um, want to share her addictions. And she said what she's done is she's replaced the negative addictions with the, with the positive addiction of exercise and wellness. Now, we're going to get to Suzanne. Suzanne, uh, do you have a question for Tony about how to get on the exercise uh, treadmill, so to speak? Hi, hi Tony. It's uh, hi, Suzanne. Suzanne. And uh, I was just wondering... Okay, I'm 53 years old. I'm a, I've been a mom, and I've kind of dedicated my life to raising my two kids. And I'm single, so now that they're 30 and 28, and I finally told them this year, you know what? It's all about me this year, and not you guys anymore. <laughs> like, how do you how do you get on to, you know, like a program? Like, I'm looking for a program for women because I don't want to be. I'm not weird or anything. I don't want to be with men. And then it's because I'm, you know, embarrassed to go out and work out in front of people because I, I want to go to a gym. I have for a couple of years, and I just I can't get myself to go because I'm too embarrassed that I look stupid. Or I've lost uh, 40 pounds in the last year. Wow. Congrats. So And that's just trying to eat properly, being on the wellness set thing, and uh, that wasn't hard. But now I need to get into the gym to well, tighten up that 40 pounds that was gone. So Tony may alleviate that pressure for you, Suzanne. She may, he may alleviate the pressure because you don't necessarily have to go to a gym. Yeah. Your body is your gym. That's right. And you know what? One of the things you've been really good at is being consistent. So finding something that you like to do, maybe even invest in some equipment in your own home and have someone show you what to do. So it's uh, inexpensive. And at the same time, you're doing something that you like to do. But one thing you have to do is be consistent and like what you're doing and do it for yourself like you said so it seems like you're on the right track and uh, Caitlin I don't know if you've heard about this Caitlin is our next caller but McMaster University is actually conducting a study on walking and we've heard about the 10,000 steps if That's you take right. 10,000 steps a day you will stay uh, certainly more fit and that will keep you fit um, what do you think about that? Yeah, I, I think walking is one of the best exercises you can do. And then another step to that is just to reduce even like one thing that you like that maybe has those extra calories that you have on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Because if you eliminate that, you probably lose like a pound in one month and 12 pounds in one year and 24 in two years. <laughs> I'm liking that math. Caitlin, did you like the math that Tony just did? How's, that la How's the mocha chino tasting now? <laughs> yeah. What's your question? Oh, it's kind of answered with the last person. I was just asking, um, I know Greco is a great program, but some people can't afford something like that. So I was just asking if there's something, like any tips or advice you have for people at home who can't afford it. Well, you know, and we always, Tony yeah. always identifies um, that, and, and often you have little tools that you can buy <laughs> and use in your own home. Simple things like a tennis ball or a strength ball can make such a difference to, you know, create your own workout, take it away. Yeah, you know, one of, one of the people, I mean, Fitness Depot, for instance, a great place, uh, and the people there will actually steer you to something that you, you can put together in your own home, and I think that that's one of the best recommendations, or if you like to enjoy outdoor stuff, it's very easy to put a program together for, for you to really get to that level where you really want to, you know, maximize that weight loss. Really simple. For when we do get snow, 
I think snowshoeing oh. is one of the best workouts around. It, and, and it is. And, and you know, the thing is, we have such a, a beautiful city that we can, we can do so much outdoors, but mm -hmm. snowshoeing for sure is a great workout. So I'm, I'm glad Caitlin brought that up because, you know, how often do I mention that to you, <laughs> that not everyone can afford a personal trainer, not everyone can afford a gym membership, but still there, there's no reason because mm -hmm. our bodies are our gyms. Yeah, and even if you just and maybe invest one time to get mm -hmm. someone to show you mm -hmm. what to do and set up your plan and then away you go. And best investment, uh, really good walking boots with good treads in this climate. <laughs> Wally, your question for Tony. Wally, you're yes. on the line with Tony Greco. Hi, Wally. Yes, Hi, Tony, I'm 68 years old. I got steel rods and eight pins in my back. And I'm going to tell you uh, exercise I can do to help with a middle-aged bulge. I think, I, I couldn't hear you clearly, Wally, but I think Wally was saying he's 68 years old and he has that middle-aged bulge. Am I hearing? No. I think that's what he said. And some back no, I also have and back steel problems. rods yeah. and pins in my back. Oh, steel rods okay. in your back. Okay. Yeah, and, you know, we say one of the best things is always putting yourself in the water just doing mm -hmm. some water work and again always uh get the opinion of obviously a, a doctor and let them know that you're doing some stuff in the water which is going to be a lot uh easier as far as absorbing all your weight and less pressure on the back because that that could be very very uh tight okay great question wally good for good for you and, and good luck with that we have anna marie on the line hi there anna marie hi good afternoon happy new year to both of you to you Thank as you. well. You um, already sound motivated. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I've been on a on a, a meal plan through a dietitian since July, and I have lost 25 pounds. I'm 47 years old, and I have been doing exercise classes through the city of Ottawa. Um, I am a walker slash runner. Um, however, it seems that I might have bursitis in my uh, right hip slash glute muscles, mm. and whenever I do any kind of activity, it just flares back up. Uh, I was taking a boot camp class as well as um, as a uh, spinning class, and I've been told to stop doing both of those. So is there anything you can recommend to to treat the bursitis A or any exercises that might be more gentle to, to, to do so that I don't have to stop exercising altogether? He has a lot of credentials. <laughs> I don't know if Tony can treat your bursitis because he'd be really busy if that were the case. Yeah. But I'm going to ask Tony whether or not some exercises he's mentioned on the program in the past would help you, Anna Marie. What about planks? Yeah, would that planks. would that planks planks would help? And even there's a lot of neat yoga poses that are very very uh, soft and and just make you feel amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. So I strongly recommend that as well. A okay, lot of the so yoga poses. Okay, so is it poses. all about the core muscles then? Well, it's important to obviously develop that core, and that's why using the plank is really important because that's an area where a lot of us don't, should, are not strengthening that area as much as we should be. But planks, for sure, is a great, great exercise to strengthen that. Anna okay. Marie, we actually, you gave me a chance to say that after the 12.30, I'm going to get Tony to demonstrate <laughs> plank exercises. So we're going to show you some, a handful of really great exercises you can do in front of the TV. Absolutely. Actually, after the 12.30 news, you can do them with us in front of the TV. <laughs> we'll be back with more at Greco Lean and Fit.